Hey, what's going on YouTube? Really quickly, I just want to go over a quick topic that, believe it or not, a lot of people are not even aware of, especially newcomers to the RC industry or the platform at this level, your RC cars like Arma. Um, and that is that you actually, in order for you to fully engage reverse, and again, veterans or a lot of people are just gonna be like, well, duh, that's, I know, everybody knows that, but a lot of people don't, believe it or not. So, pulling the trigger, your obvious, you know, forward, right? The braking works immediately. But if you're at a full stop and you hit the brake, notice how it's not doing anything? Even though, so the, the only way reverse is actually going to kick in is if you've reached 100%, meaning now that you've gone all the way, your reverse is going to be there every time because I went all the way forward, registered at 100%. Now if I go forward and just stop on its own, it doesn't register until you've done a full 100%, now it will. It's something to keep in mind when you when you want to implement reverse so that you don't throw too much torque too quickly going in reverse. Nothing. Until I go all the way, then. So just kind of keep that in mind and like I said, it's kind of one of those things that you never really need to know fully, but when you do know it, it makes a big difference on being able to mitigate your reverse in proper timing situations, as well as not just throwing it in reverse willy-nilly and, and sometimes breaking a, a planetary gear or, or breaking a pin because you just don't know that. So that's just another quick tactic that I thought I'd share. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, check out all of my videos. Anytime I come up with a new tactic or a new little piece of information that I don't know or that I feel like might be cool to share, I throw it down on the channel. So hit that like button if you appreciate it. Beast Tactics, out.